My name is April Castoldi, and I've been drawing uh, mandalas for about 10 years or so. Pastor Debbie invited me to share this as a, a spiritual practice that anyone can do at home. So I've been really thinking about why I think this actually is an incredibly accessible um, spiritual practice. So I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction. Then rule number one is it's not art. <laughs> rule number two is to go deep. And then rule number three is to think of patterns. So as an introduction, I mentioned uh, mandalas from a Sanskrit word, um, which means circle. And it usually refers to um, ritual designs in Hindu traditions. They are created for meditation and prayer, and there is a lot of uh, ritual around it. The psychologist Carl Jung described uh, a mandala as a representation of the self. So it really leads to a lot of um, nice ways to explore what's in your heart. And also, if there's something that inspires me in the world, uh, creating the mandala is a nice way to express it and kind of be more present to it. As soon as I share with people that I like to do these drawings, a lot of people go, oh my god, I can't do that. I'm not an artist. So it's not art. <laughs> you could just give up on that idea entirely. Or maybe you go, oh, I am an artist. But then I think you can get kind of tangled up in, worried, in being worried about um, whether it's going to be beautiful enough or good enough. So let's just toss the idea out entirely and uh, think of it as a spiritual practice. Go deep. When you're faced with a blank piece of paper, you know, you may wonder, what do I put on this? So I want to offer a few ideas of how you can um, just be present to what's there for you and just think of sinking down deep into what's there uh, in your heart. A lot of times when I pause and think about what's going on in my life, there's some upset or some concern. Um, I'm going to share with you a piece I did this, this morning um, that was kind of about everyone being grumpy in my house. So I find this kind of art is a great way to um, shift that uh, upset or concern or worry that you have into a place where you feel some peace of mind. And to me, that's a lot of what a spiritual practice is about, is uh, transforming something or feeling uh, connected to something beyond yourself. And then finally, oh, patterns, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know why it is, but there's something about repetition that um, to me makes something uh, so pleasing. I think it's kind of part of human nature. So like if you say you can't draw, you could do dots. You could do lines. You could do triangles. You can do squares, squiggles, all kinds of things that are just simple sort of abstract type drawings can work to create a mandala. Um, and of course, you can also put in you know, more symbolic things like faces and hearts and things like that. So um, I'm going to give you an example over here. I don't know if you can see, but I called this one, Why is Everyone So Grumpy? So this morning, um, when I got up, I thought my family, we were going to have this great, beautiful day together. And everyone, my husband has a headache. and. I don't know, it just seems like everyone is grumpy, and I realized I was stuck feeling like that wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> I just started by drawing a little circle, and I, I, really, I really drew like a, a down arrow like that, because it just felt like, ah, it's, it's this feeling of going down and depression and anger and whatnot. And then I just turned my paper and, and drew it the other way like that. So. I've gotten good at doing it without rotating the paper, but if you're a beginner, that's an easy way to do it. You draw a circle in the middle, and then you can just turn the paper and do it again and again. So the next thing I drew was just like a mad face. I was like, wow, everyone's grumpy. I'm just going to draw this grumpy face. Um, and then I just kind of thought, well, there was a little gap in between the arrow and the grumpy face, so I drew a little triangle, and I'm like, ah. And then I was still just like, what else like, represents grumpy? And I was like, X's. Um, well, actually, I guess I drew these arrows next because I felt sort of like, I don't know which way to go. Should I go this way or that way? And just this feeling of like, ah, it's not supposed to be like that. So I drew the X's. And then what happens as I do them is I start to just go, well, I need to fill something in between. So I think I drew these diamonds. And then, I don't know, I was thinking about being in jail. So I drew these vertical lines like that. And then as I worked my way out, 
I was present to some sadness. So I thought, OK, I'll put a teardrop in there. That, that kind of represents being sad. So I'm, at this point, I'm kind of working in sets of eight. So I'm, I have one on the top, one on the bottom, like that. And then I drew little dots around them, because I often find little dots make things look cool. Um, and I just kind of started noodling around and doodling a little bit more in between the spaces. And um, eventually, I finally got to this. What happens to me at the end of the piece is I, I, I just feel different. You know, like I kind of got like everyone's grumpy, and it's all right. It's kind of contained inside something. And um, <laughs> I, I packed up my stuff, and I was getting ready to come over here. And um, I don't know. I could, people were still grumpy, and I was kind of laughing. And my husband was like, what? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> you know, bye. When, when I do these drawings, sometimes I have an intention of creating them um, for something that I want to be beautiful. And then I might be very careful, and I might draw lines and whatnot. So you can use the same sort of approach to do something like that, which is um, you know, more detailed. That's kind of like one of my favorite ones, where I was really trying to make it look beautiful. Um, then I have lots of examples where I'm like really dealing with something that makes me grumpy. Like this one was called Mad at My Brain Today. This one was called The Paperwork, where I was just working out how I hate having to do all kinds of paperwork for my job. So it has like pencils and staplers and things like that in it. And then also I do like doing pieces um, for purpose. So um, this is a particular piece of stained glass. And this one, too, that's part of the congregation. So um, or part of the sanctuary. So um, I just started noodling around with what was, you know, in the building itself and um, reminded me of that community. And I just want to encourage people to, um, you know, this is all you need. You know, it can be a, a pen and a piece of paper. It can be a crayon. Um, and really, it could be anything. You could, you know, put some shaving cream on the mirror and draw it with your finger. You know, it's very portable. You can do it anytime, anywhere. And, um, and it's also a really touching way to connect with other people. So if you also notice someone else in your life seems to be going through a hard time and you make a piece for them, that's a profound way to really you know, connect with them and, and uh, let them know you love them. Mm -hmm.